Why do I hate the Colts? More like why don't I hate them? They've been bothering me for longer than the Jaguars have even existed. Back when I was a kid and had a Burt Jones football card, I thought they were pretty cool. But then their two-faced owner landed a helicopter in the Gator Bowl, gave everybody in Jacksonville cold fever before speeding out of town and then out of Baltimore. Looking back, I'm glad that Jacksonville wasn't the team stealer that Indianapolis became. It fits them better. Fast forward 15 years later, the Colts were sucking, attendance was lame, and the future of the team was in doubt. But I guess the Colts sucked at the right time. They drafted Peyton Manning, who has wowed the league ever since with his awesome stats, funny commercials, and horrible postseason performances. But as they saw the end of the era coming, they chose 2011 as the perfect time to suck again. Nice timing, Colts. They ended up with Andrew Luck, and they're gonna try to ride him to greatness now, too. Yeah, it was a cool story, but it's not a cool story. You're right, Andrew, not cool. Echo broke, taking a profit. There's other reasons to hate them. Bill Polian single-handedly handcuffed the greatest mascot in the league because his in-game routine was just too damn funny. Their owner is a crazy man. You know, would be, um, you know. Let's yeah, face it, the Jaguars don't beat the Colts often. They've only beaten them eight times, and I remember all of them, and you do too. 2003, Freddy T runs over Mike Doss. 2004, Scobie hits a 53-yard field goal as time expires. 2006, 375 rushing yards, you bish. 2008, Scobie hits a 51-yard field goal as time expires. 2010, Scobie hits a 59-yard field goal as time expires. 2011, we win both to help the Colts draft Andrew Luck. 2012, Blaine hit Cecil on an 80-yard touchdown pass. That's it. That's all we won. So I'm showing up on Sunday hoping that the Jags pull off another last-second miracle that makes the Colts think, dang, we just lost to the Jags, dude.